Hey guys, Al2 here and I'm back today with a bunch of RC upgrades, RC goodies. Here I want to show you guys for upcoming projects I have and some really cool stuff. So let's get right to it and take a look. First thing um, is uh, down here from a company called um, Cow RC. Um, like to use their Moo Slick and Moo Clean. Let me get this out of the uh, box here and up on the table. Yeah, the Moo uh, the Moo Clean is like a degreaser. It's kind of you spray it on and it's it's very dry, so it helps you clean up your RC. And then I have the Moo Slick, which is like a silicone silicone spray that I like to use. I'm going to have an upcoming video soon showing you how I like to clean my RCs, how I what I spray them down with, and then wash them down with water, and then use WD-40 on the electronics to make sure all the water is out. Then the last thing I do is put the silicone on. Guys, if you put this silicone on, it just makes it easier to clean up every time. So yeah, so that's from Cow RC. I got this cool Cow RC magnetic parts mat from them as a promotion they were running just a, a few weeks ago. What do we got? Cool. J Concept Tribute Wheels. Monster Truck Wheels. I'd gotten these a while back. Um, Thinking of the upgrade for Mad Crusher, J Concepts. These are their Firestorm monster truck tires. They will go, are going to look sweet on this truck. They're going to look awesome. They're just going to be bad. Nothing wrong with the tires that came on the Mad Crusher, but um, just an upgrade or a hop up I'm looking to do. Now I ran into a problem, so um, hopefully in one of these other boxes is something I'm looking at to fix that problem. These J Concepts are made for 12 millimeter hexes, I believe. The Mad Crusher 17, so that's a problem. I couldn't find any kind of adapters or anything like that, but what I did find, see if I could find it here, what box that might be in. Ah, right here. Now, found these RC four wheel drive 17 millimeter, these are beautiful. Look at the quality on those. These are really nice. Now these will bolt up. These will bolt up to a wheel and then I still have my 17 millimeter hex. Now I took a chance on the bolt pattern being the same as on, I don't know if you can see in these tribute wheels, we can't. You can't see it and well there it is. There's the bolt pattern of the tribute wheels. Well guess what? Don't match. So what I'm hoping I'm going to do is I bought some new aluminum wheels that I hope are going to fit these J Concepts tires. They are uh, the wheels are from RC four wheel drive and these should bolt right up to them. So I'm gonna those wheels should be in this box, so we're gonna check them out next and see what they look like. Let's get this out of the way and get this other box up here. Get this, oh yeah, I picked this up. Picked this up a couple of weeks ago, you know, for uh, my first Nitro. It's nice, it comes with a, I don't have it here, it comes with a tethered, takes two D-cell batteries and a tethered glow igniter for your glow plugs. Uh, this one has a rechargeable battery and you just stick it on keep your hands free and then uh, yeah so that's an upgrade for me right there cool 
see what we got going on here. Oh yeah, here we go. An RC four wheel drive. These wheels, I think, are going to be. What we got here. ZW zero 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 four, Universal Monster Truck Beat Lock Wheels, Clod Buster Aluminum. Let's let's take a look at these bad boys. Now hopefully these are going to fit those J Concepts tires. I think they will. Um, I think when I checked on these, it said what they fit. So I should be good there, but that's going to be an upcoming video showing that upgrade. Package very nice, what we got here. Screw kit. Get one of these wheels out of here. Package in some nice foam, that's for sure. Oh my. Wish you guys could see this in person. This thing is that is one sweet wheel. Just look at that thing. That is just awesome. That is just that's incredible. That is just the thing of I don't know what else to say. I'm kinda not speechless, but uh that is going to be sweet on this truck. Man, and it is heavy too. They're heavy. Wow, that's going to add some weight, that's for sure. I guess that's a big negative about it. But uh, anyway, these, uh, these are supposed to bolt up. Bolt up all right onto there. And uh, then they will fit. Whew. That will be uh, that will be quite the wheel on this truck. We'll see how that works out. That's going to be a uh, fun project coming up, so look for that soon. Cool, for sure. What else do I got here? Let's see. Um, ah, let's get this bag open. Let's get this wheel put away and get that bag open. It is an outerwear's air filter cover. So I don't want to let the cat out of the bag on what kind of RC we might be having, but uh, you guys might have an idea now. What else? What other goodies do I got here? What else? There's another box of stuff. Got here. This is stuff I got from A Main. We got this is a Losi air filter set for an 8T. I didn't really like the air filter set on the Mad Crusher, so I was thinking about changing it. So I picked that up. Once again, here's another uh, outerwear. This is good to. Um, for you guys that do nitro, going to do nitro, gas powered stuff, it's good to have that. Those um, outer wares are like covers for your air filter, and I guess if you have a gas powered engine, covers the. Uh, there's usually a cover over your flywheel. 
you know, and there's there's slots in that for cooling, so you can get grass and all kinds of stuff will get sucked in there and mess up your flywheel. So it's good to get some of those outer wares; they're not that expensive. To um, you know, go ahead and protect that from from those grass clippings and weeds and whatnot from getting in. So yeah, I got a lot of cool things here coming up. Like I said, I got that. You saw that Losi upstairs. That's uh, just came in brand new. Uh, one other thing I'm considering right now. So, considering a, a fifth scale vehicle, my first one. I've been looking into those what and whatnot. So um, that might be something in my future as well. So stay tuned, guys. Got a lot of cool things coming up, and yeah, I'll see you real soon on the next video.